on record in England, absolutely boiling. And me, Sid Vicious, Palm Olive, and a girl called Sarah are rehearsing every day in that boiling hot summer, all dressed in black, <laughs> um, in, a, in Joe Strummer's basement in a squat in West London. And even though we haven't got telephones, no way to get in touch with each other, every day we turn up, we're so determined that we're going to make this group happen. And I'm on guitar, Palm Olive on drums, and Sarah on bass. And Sid is on vocals and saxophone. And this is where Sid invented the uh, pogo dance when he jumped something down. Anyway, so we do it every day, every day, every day until September comes and we emerge from the basement into the sunlight, white as ever, and without one song. I don't know what happened. <laughs> we had no songs, but we had this great band called The Flowers of Romance. And, um, the journalists used to follow us all around London and we never played one gig <laughs> and, and they're going to make a big TV programme about us. <laughs> anyway, we were quite innocent strangely in those days compared to nowadays and we didn't really take that many drugs, we were really poor, we took a little bit of speed sometimes but nothing more than that. But one day into our lives came the Americans, the heartbreakers. Yeah, Jonathan. Yeah, fronted by the beautiful Italian, sexy, great guitarist, Johnny Thunders. Very dangerous, very bad. And with him he brought needles, needles, so many needles, shiny needles, lined up in rows, friendly needles, faithful needles. Covered in fat and with fucked 
and that's how Sid started on drugs. Okay, now, Finn, I'm putting on the horrible sounding player. <laughs>